hey guys um back with another video i'm back in my uni room as you can see and tonight i'm going out with my friends because i haven't actually been out in ages and i need to get dressed up i need to look pretty i need to wear a nice outfit and, um yeah i'm just getting ready so i'm just gonna do like a little I could get ready with me i guess i've had a shower earlier um haven't done my hair i've just got it in like a clip for now starting off with my eyebrows which using a spoolie i'm like using soap brow stuff and some primer like i spray it on there and then i just brush up my brows yeah so i'm kind of rushing a little bit because i've got a lot to do my friends are coming to this flat for pre's so that's why i need to get ready and i always take ages so i'm gonna just do it quickly but yeah once my eyebrows are like that i take the benefit brow pencil in the shade five and i basically just fill in my eyebrows i don't do them like too heavy but i try to make them quite long and like i don't like to like flip them up. i like them to look like if you know what i mean so i just draw a line under and i fill it up from there but this is kind of what i do i literally just like do that i used to like wear so much makeup and do like proper eyebrow pomade lashes everything and now i'm just i'm so lazy now and it's really annoying because i used to like love doing makeup but i am um, i've been trying to do a little bit more recently just so i can take cool pictures when i'm bored tonight we're going to the jazz cafe so i don't know if you've been there before it's in camden it's really nice it's quite like jazz you know you like jazz. You like jazz. Now for concealer, I use the Fenty, the Fenty concealer. I don't know if there's like more than one, but it's the one that looks like that. I use the shade number seven, and I just squeeze some like the back of my hand, and then I just get my flat brush and just like outline my brow. And then I take a brush like this, just like a regular face brush, and I just like blend it out. And then I do a little bit on the top, but like not as much, just because it's quite a bright concealer and I don't want like white like all around here. So I just get like a little bit and I just draw, draw like here. Yeah, my brows have been through it. Like, I remember plucking them when I was like 13, 14, and they just looked awful. Like, I remember getting them threaded, plucking them, and they were like so thin. And I thought they looked really good, but they did not. And then I remember like eyebrow pomade came out, and everyone was like going crazy with it. Everyone was just like crazy. It was a weird time. A weird time. I don't use brow pomade anymore because. I just feel like it doesn't suit my face having like heavy block eyebrows like, I just can't do it. I'm going on to brow pencils and just getting them tinted so that they look a bit more natural. I literally got this the other day but it's the MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime and I'm basically just going to spray it all over my face so that my face is like got that like dewiness to it. I use foundation which look yeah. That is disgusting. I'm so sorry you have to see that, but this is my foundation I use. It's by The Ordinary, and I don't wear foundation every time I go out, like, as in on a daily basis, but when I go out, out, like, out, out, that's when I wear it because I feel like it just, you know, just adds that little... Make sure you just look more, you put more effort into your makeup. Right, usually I just use concealer, but I basically just put... I use the bit rather than pumping it out because every time I use the pump, too much comes out and it's really annoying. So I just use the stick. So I just use this brush and I just dab it. And as you can see, it's not too heavy because I feel like I'll just sweat it all off. But I need like a little something just to cover any like discoloration and then i used the rest of the concealer that was left on the back of my hand and that is what i use under my eye because i'm not trying to go full coverage today so i just use what's left i just go here and then i go here and i just sort of line it out a bit and, uh, and like that 
and then I use this same brush because why not? Bit of spray. And then I just like do the same thing. Just pat it in my skin. I don't usually like drag it, I just like pat it in. Now, I do want to do more makeup videos as in like actual tutorials. I did a look I did a look the other day on my Instagram with like the smoky eye with jewels, kind of like euphoria sort of vibe. So I I am I do want to do a tutorial for that one day because it was actually quite fun but I'm not doing that look tonight, I'm literally just doing like what I would do when I go clubbing. Now that's all blended in, it's time for contour. So as you can see, my face looks all even, but I need some definition to my face, just to like, maybe look a bit more. So I get a NYX concealer, which is in, I don't know what shade it's in, but it's just darker than my like skin tone. Oh, it's in a shade Coca. Coca, Coca. And I just put it like where your cheekbones sort of go in, so like, like here, put a bit there, bit there, bit there, and then I do here and here, like that. And then I do do my nose, but I go, I do that in the front. And I grab a sort of face brush, but just a bit more like angled. And I basically just like pat that out. I need to start drinking as well. I think I'm gonna make some porn star martinis tonight. Cause I've got, I got my cocktail making set for Christmas. And I'm actually gonna use it and make some good cocktails rather than like using orange juice and vodka. Like that's, it's, it's an all right drink, but it's not like amazing. To contour my nose, I do the same using this but I just add a little bit on the back of my hand of the concealer tap it on the brush and then I just literally like just go down the sides yeah you'll see so to blend it and then because it looks a little bit like I get this brush again and I just press it down just so the lines look as harsh and it looks a bit more a bit more natural if you know what I mean. And then for my eyes, I literally just take a brown eyeliner and I get an angled eye brush and I just kind of like do that. And I use this to like draw a line. So it looks like I've got eyeliner on, but it's just, it's just, well, it is eyeliner. What's that word? Like it just makes your, it elongates, it along, makes your eyes look more like, like that if you don't mean and then i clean it up with the same concealer that's left on my hand and i just literally just make the line look a bit more clean and then i just blend that out using the brush yeah, this is what it looks like so far all i'm going to do is do highlighter blush mascara which i'll show you i won't literally show you but i'll show you what i'm using just because i'm actually i need to like sort it out and get ready NARS blush in the say in the shade Savage, which is my favourite blush ever. Literally. Grab my blush brush, which is this one. Again, real techniques, and I literally just pat it, but then I go like this. Cause then I don't want there to be too much on it. And I just like smile and then put it where my cheeks are. And then highlighter is this Becca one, which is a liquid highlighter, and I literally just put that on all the high points. So my nose, here, 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 and here. Quickly brush that out. That is my highlighter done. And then highlighter's done, mascara. Benefits Roller Lash. Also use the Essence Lash Princess one because this is so cheap, yeah, from Wilco's, but it's the best mascara. I use this one first to make my eyelashes look really long. And then I go back in with that one just to like thicken, thicken them up a bit. I was gonna wear lashes tonight, but I've decided not to, just so I really can't be bothered and I don't have the time, but if I did have the time, I'd put lashes on. Then I use Glossier's Boy Brow. 
and I basically just brush up with my eyebrows just so they stay in place a bit and they've got a bit more of that colour onto it and just fill in any sort of gaps that I kind of miss. So for my lips, I use, I've got Glossier lip balm on at the moment. The first thing I do, get this MAC lip liner in the shade Strip Down. So I overlay my lips with that. You can't even see it, but yeah. It's really hard to see, but it just adds, it's not that much different from my lip color, but it just adds that little bit of overlining. Just to make them look a bit more like defined. Use my Fenty lip gloss and put that over it, basically. So I've done my outfit, done my makeup. I need to do my hair, because what is it? Um, with my hair, I have no clue what I'm going to do yet. I'm just going to go do it and show you when I'm done. So this is the top I'm wearing from Urban Outfitters. Brought it on Vinted, but, you know, bottoms are the Urban Outfitters cargoes. Um, yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I've now done my hair. I just put it into two plaits because I just... Didn't wash it today, so it's a little bit grim, and I just needed a quick and easy hairstyle, so it didn't look frizzy, so I literally just put in some gel. I used the, this gel. Slicked my hair down a bit, did my edges. I'm just gonna put in some earrings now. They're like these like rectangle sort of ones from ASOS, which are very nice. I'm just gonna put those in my ear. In my dressing gown, um, yeah, I'm going to bike for an hour. I'm going to make a porn star martini, so this is how you make it. You get a mixing, a mixing cocktail jug, put in it ice, put some ice, this is one from, this is one I prepared earlier. Put in a shot of Pessoa, shot of vanilla vodka, and some Rubicon. And then you shake it up, put it in the glass, and then there you have it. Basically, that's slug and lettuce. Thanks for watching, guys. I didn't get to film anything else from that night because I was in a rush. I got kind of drunk, and I kind of just forgot that I was like filming a video. So I hope you enjoyed watching me get ready. Um, leave a like, subscribe, and see you next time.